Let's balance the equation for this combustion reaction here. We have C3H6O2 plus O2. So to balance the equation, let's count all the atoms up. Three carbons, six hydrogens, and then two oxygens. Don't forget these two out here. So four oxygen atoms in the reactants. Products, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens. And again, be careful, there's one oxygen out here in the water. So we have three oxygens there. It's best to leave the oxygen still last when you're balancing combustion reactions because you have this O2 all by itself. So we can change this coefficient here, won't change the number of hydrogens or carbons. So we're going to leave this till last. Let's just put a 3 in front of the CO2. 1 times 3 gives us 3 of those, and those are balanced. How about the hydrogen? We could put a 3 over here. 2 times 3, that'll give us 6 of those. Let's update the oxygens. So we have 3 times 2, that's 6, plus the 3 times the 1, that's 3, 9 oxygens. So everything is balanced except our oxygen atoms. And here's the way to think about that. We're trying to get 9 oxygen atoms here to balance the 9 in the products. So 2 plus something is going to give us 9. 2 plus 7, that would be 9. So if we had 7 oxygens here, that would work, 2 plus the 7 oxygens. So we're going to put a 7 over 2 for the oxygen. So we can have a fractional coefficient. That's OK. So 7 over 2 times 2 is really just 7. So we end up with 2 plus 7. That gives us 9. And this equation, it's balanced. Some teachers don't like to have this fractional coefficient. It really doesn't matter. What we're looking for is the ratio of all of these substances here. But if you need to get whole numbers, just multiply everything by 2. And when you do that, you'll get 2, 7. The 2's will cancel out. You'll be left with 7. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6, like this. So if you need whole number coefficients, this is the other way you could do this. This is Dr. B balancing the combustion reaction C3H6O2 plus O2. Thanks for watching.